Hey guys, TJ Miller with IDI. Today's video is about flushing the A-side. Unfortunately, this equipment had sat for too long. As you can see, there was too much gravel, barrel gravel is what I like to call it, that was coming out of our hose that was catching in the filter when we were trying to strain the material. So by seeing that and hearing that cracking inside of that supply line and even sometimes even a little bit inside the spray hose, I know at that point that A-side needs to be flushed out. So the product that we're going to be using is NZD ISO Flush. This is from GSP. The great thing about this product, it replaces all the older products, the acetone, the NMP, the MEK products. Those products absorb moisture. This product traps water, right? And it won't eat your gaskets. And the other thing is, this doesn't evaporate like the other products do. So you use it, and you don't lose it. The first thing we need to do is we need to get our transfer pump out. And I always like to have two different buckets when I do this. One is just for my junk, my junk ISO, and all the ISO, the bad ISO that's gonna be in the system. And then I have another bucket clean. I typically like to have a brand new one, and I wanna mark it with flush on it. So I make sure I don't put any wrong contaminants or anything bad inside that bucket. So after I get this in here, I wanna wipe down and get all of this residual material off here as best as I possibly can. Because I wanna try to keep as much of the ISO out of my flush bucket so I'm not contaminating all of that clean material. The other thing is push down on this valve in the bottom. There's a foot valve in here, which is a, is a check ball. So what I like to do is I like to push into that check ball and get all the residual material out of this stick pump as best as I possibly can. So before I put the stick pump into my flush bucket, I wanna go get one of these strainers. This is a perfect size, it snaps on, it's got an elastic band, it snaps on the five gallon bucket, and you can get one of these at any box store for a couple of bucks. So what I like to do is snap this onto the bucket, get the elastic on there, take some of the slack down the side so you don't have too much slack going down into your flush. The other thing I like to do, take a knife and I put a small hole in the back side of this for my transfer pump to slide in. So I can still use the elastic. So I take my tr clean transfer pump out, I slide that through that hole, right down into the bottom of the bucket. And I try to have a barrel or something where I can strap this up to hold it so it doesn't fall. So the reason I have the strainer set up the way that I have it is because I'm going to use that flush to purge out all the contaminated liquid into my trash bucket until I get to flush coming out. Once I get flush coming out of the end of the manifold, I'm going to put the manifold directly back over top of my bucket so I can rotate that flush in the system, but it's so important to have the strainer on there because it's going to catch all the contaminants. So here's what I'm talking about. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my A side over my trash bucket. And I'm gonna let this run until I get all of the contaminated isocyanates out of the A side of the system until I get flush coming out. So as it makes its transition from ISO to my NZD ISO flush, I'm gonna start noticing a color change. And as soon as I see that color change, I'm gonna to wanna to go at least another probably half to three quarters of a gallon to make sure I have as much of the isocyanates out of there as I possibly can. So see how the viscosity has totally changed? It's running out almost clear now, and this is a lot, lot thinner product than ISO. So I'm gonna shut this down. And now I'm gonna put my manifold over top of my strainer. I'm gonna open this up. And I'm just gonna run this in a circle for about two to three hours. It's important to get that time frame right. Two to three hours of flushing, and we're actually going to let this product sit in the system overnight. Unlike other products that you can't, this product is 100% safe to leave in the system overnight to break down and neutralize those hardened up isocyanates so we can flush them back out again the following morning. So we've been flushing it for about three or four hours now. We've already collected quite a bit of stuff into our strainer. We're gonna shut it down, let it sit in the system overnight to break down more of that ISO. We'll come back in the morning and finish it up. So we're back and it's the next morning, so let's get it finished up. We're just gonna turn this thing back on, where again, we're gonna let it flush for another two to three hours, and then we'll move on from there. 
So we flushed it for another three or four hours and I think we've gotten pretty much everything out that we could possibly get. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. One important thing I wanna tell you is, is if you have return lines that go back to the drum, those have to be flushed as well. We don't have those unfortunately on this machine, but if you have the return line on the A side, make sure you flush that as well. If the process is the same, flush it, strain it, let it sit overnight, and then flush it, strain it again the next day, just like this. As you can see, we got quite a bit out of there. Now just think, if we hadn't flushed that out, all of that would have went directly into our Y strainer screens, into our gun, and it would have just created so much downtime on site when we're supposed to be there making money. The main thing you wanna do is never let that A-side sit. If it does sit for too long for some unfortunate reason, make sure, make sure, make sure that you flush it out, you flush it correctly, and you use those GSP products that you can get from any one of us here at IDI. If you have any questions about anything that we've talked about in this video, please don't hesitate to reach out and give us a call. Like and share this video. TJ Miller with IDI, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.